Hello, everybody, and welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy. We go over the latest news in housing, real estate, and the mortgage industry. Today is February 23rd, Wednesday. Going over some of the most important news stories. The first one here is from CNBC. It says mortgage applications dropped to the lowest level in the last two years. So we're starting to see very few people actually put in apps for refis as well as purchases because of the interest rate shock that's going on. So we're seeing that and now it's hitting the news pretty hard as uh, December 19, December 2019 was the last time we've seen these levels of more new mortgage applications hit. Next article also is from CNBC. It says the market has adjusted its views on how the how the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates. So we keep seeing this pull and tug between inflation and the war, you know, in Russia and in Ukraine, and it's going back and forth. If it was just up to the Fed, and we've seen multiple Fed presidents say that they'd like to see 100 basis points by the end of June or beginning of July. But, you know, part of the federal government wants to see is, you know, if there's going to be some type of war, some sanctions, whatever, they want to see it kind of ease so it won't all affect the American economy. But we're going to find out what's going to happen here pretty quickly. You know, the, the Russians are going to continue to invade or they're just going to actually walk away or laugh at what's happening in Washington. And I think the Federal Reserve has to put their head down and just if they want to actually get inflation down, they need to go ahead and grind this out. So we're looking at probably a 50, a 50 basis points next month and we'll see what happens in the months after. But I know that several different analysts, one from Morgan Stanley says that we're probably going to see a hike on every single month this year, you know, at least a quarter basis points or 200 200 or 25 basis points up. So we'll see what happens, but that's actually what's what the tug of war that's going on right now. Next article here is from Redfin and Redfin is saying that uh, it's an all time high that this is the most competitive January ever. Actually it's a competitive month ever where 70% of all offers have had all homes have had multiple offers on it. Now, if you're a real estate agent, you know that that's probably low. I don't know of, uh, you know, three out of 10 of the homes that I've actually shown or put offers on have, you know, no offers on it. It looks like it's probably 95% that have no offers. I think that's kind of the, the, the way that's been going. If it's way high end, if it's much higher than what the county has, uh, their, their typical medium home rent, home price, then we're probably seeing less offers at the very high end. But, but for most everybody else we're seeing multiple offers on any entry level we're seeing at least you know double digit offers on any multiple you know on any entry level next here we have the interest rates and refi sink even further we know uh you know interest the uh the refis are just are just diminishing to nothing most people or at least 50 plus percentage of americans have refied in the last 24 months and so you know we're looking at very few refis that are going to be under four and a quarter or four and a half or the interest rates that they're going to be receiving, you know, uh, if they were to refi today. So we're seeing it slow down to a crawl. You know, the only refis that I've, I've seen come out are, you know, cash out refis and those, those interest rates continue to drive up. So anybody that had purchased a home in the last 36 months, any interest rate that we're going to see today is going to be higher than that. Number one, number two, you're also going to then increase your increase the amount of money you owe in your house on your principal interest. So just you're going to have a significant bump in your monthly payment. So we're just not seeing it. And then, of course, we go over, you know, black, you know, nights, interest rates, nationwide average. And we're seeing here that conforming actually across the board, all rates have gone up yesterday. So conforming rates uh, looks like the hip uh, or conventional hit 4.15. I know a lot of the LOs that I talk to are it's four and a quarter at this moment. You're seeing 15 year, 30 year jumbos up, up. And then of course, 30 year FHA and at 4.22. So we're just keep going up and up or just, I think people are bracing for that 50 point, 50 uh, point increase in, in basis points. The Fed's going to have next month. And I think that they're trying to price it in the market now and not have that big shock and a big jump in March itself. So hopefully that won't happen. But right now we're just seeing them go up and up and up. Now, if you like 
our content, please hit the like button. You know, if you like anything that, you know, if you have any questions and leave in the comment section, I'm more than happy to go over them with you, answer any of those questions and uh, hit the notification button so you can be notified when we actually drop these videos on a daily basis. Otherwise, guys, have a good day. I will see you tomorrow on Thursday.